What is the maximum amount of time a person should be in a calorie deficit? This question is asked quite frequently by new clients and my answer to this question really depends on the individual. So in this video, I'll share my top five considerations for planning a safe and effective fat loss journey. So first up, we're going to start with health metrics, body composition, and total weight loss goals. So to plan a successful fat loss phase, it is crucial to consider a client's current health biomarkers, their body composition, dietary choices, lifestyle, mindset, mental health, and long-term weight loss goals. This comprehensive understanding allows a clinician to determine not only the appropriateness of initiating fat loss, but also the target amount of body fat to be lost and the optimal timeframes for achieving these goals. Whether a client aims to lose weight to enhance health, improve daily athletic performance, or achieve better aesthetics, a fat loss goal exceeding 15% of total body weight will likely require a longer diet duration compared to a goal of losing only 5%. So up next, safe and efficacious weekly rates of weight loss. Weight loss often occurs at a pace that compromises metabolic health. It's frequently overlooked that such rapid fat loss can make the diet approach unsustainable and have long-term implications, including increased difficulty in losing weight in the future due to its negative impact on lean tissue. At Be A Body, our team of professionals prioritize our clients' health outcomes, mental health, and overall well-being. We adhere to careful guidelines that limit weekly weight loss to no more than 1.5% of their total body weight. However, weight loss is a complex process that often necessitates a more conservative approach, involving not only more time to achieve the desired goals, but also a combination of nutrition, exercise, and psychological intervention. For example, an individual aiming to reduce body fat from, say, 35% down to 25% might achieve this in as few as seven weeks if they are otherwise healthy. In contrast, another person who is struggling with their mental health or body image and other lifestyle challenges might require three times as long to achieve the same goal. Now, the third consideration is starting metabolic health. This is a major predictor for dieting duration. While some individuals can safely and comfortably diet for 15 to 20 weeks with a carefully planned fat loss phase, particularly those with a healthy and robust metabolic rate, there are instances where others may need to approach their fat loss goals differently. For some individuals, particularly those aiming to reduce their overall burden of disease, their current metabolic health may not support a 15 to 20 week diet duration. In these cases, the required diet and exercise regimes may be unsustainable or consistent considered unsafe according to evidence-based practices. And this situation can arise when an individual's maintenance calories are below what is considered normal and healthy based on predictive equations. Often, chronic dieting behaviors can lead to fat loss plateaus, causing individuals to quickly reach their caloric minimums, leaving no room for further calorie reduction. Despite the need for continued fat loss, it becomes essential to restore their metabolic rate through a carefully planned recovery diet. And this is best achieved by incorporating a resistance training program that builds muscle and lean tissue while ultimately enhancing a person's basal metabolic rate. Individual lifestyle choices, personal responsibilities, and work schedules can significantly influence the time a person can dedicate to diet and exercise. For example, one person might be single, child-free with a very low stress 40-hour work week and a low maintenance social life, allowing them several hours most days to focus on a weight loss goal. Conversely, another person might be married with children, working a high stress 80 hour work week with a busy travel schedule and social life, leaving very little time for intentional exercise and a well-planned nutrition plan. These differences explain why weight loss durations can vary significantly depending on individual circumstances. Often it requires an experienced coach to help set realistic time expectations for weight loss based on each person's unique situation. Now let's look at diet symptoms, as this is a major predictor for diet duration. While we might begin a fat loss journey under ideal conditions, such as an extremely healthy metabolism, ample time to exercise and nutrition plan, and strong motivation, the symptoms of dieting eventually affect everybody, even the top physique athletes. Everyone has a different tolerance level for discomfort, often influenced by their unique circumstances. And as a coach, I frequently observe a wide range of weight loss timelines due to the diverse and individual situations of my clients. So to summarize my response to the question of what is the maximum amount of time a person should be in a calorie deficit, 
the key considerations include a person's starting health metrics, body composition, and weight loss goals, with larger goals requiring longer durations. Weekly weight loss should be limited to no more than 1.5% of your total body weight to avoid compromising your metabolic health and sustainability. Your starting metabolic health is also crucial, as those with lower maintenance calories or chronic dieting histories may need a recovery diet and resistance training to restore their metabolic health. Personal lifestyle factors such as work schedules and responsibilities also play a significant role in determining the diet duration. So ultimately, each person's unique circumstances will dictate their weight loss timeline, necessitating personalized and realistic expectations set by an experienced coach. Now, in listening to today's video, if you've thought about your own health goals, please consider reaching out to either myself or my incredible team of coaches here at Team Be A Body, including Dr. Gabrielle Fondero, Dr. Shannon Russell, Shay Whitney Garnell, who's our perimenopausal and postmenopausal women's health coach, and our registered dietitian, Caitlin Duncan. We would absolutely love to help you achieve the best version of you. Now, if you still have questions about weight loss, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you've enjoyed this video, show your support by giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And for more information and resources just like this, take a look at the description below where you can learn more about all of my products and services, including my training app, Be A Fit, our one-on-one -on -one coaching services, educational books and recipe guides, our workout accessories, upcoming challenges, and lots of free resources. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.